update. This professor, the victim of a deadly shooting at UCLA, reports that a disgruntled student shot him, then turned the gun on himself, creating a wave of terror on campus in Los Angeles. Tenders reporter Steve Fiorina joins us live at UCLA right now. And Steve, so what's the tone at this point? The terror has subsided, but there's still a lot of unease here. UCLA was locked down for almost two hours today after those shots rang out in this building, engineering number 14. There were news helicopters overhead as SWAT teams and police agencies rushed to look for any possible continuing danger. Might there be an active shooter? They cleared all classrooms one by one. Julia Zhu was in math class when the Bruin alert was sounded and she heard someone yell. She said, run really loudly, and like at that time, everybody just ran. I was really scared, and I, I, I ran with anyone else. And You're still kind of scared, aren't you? Yes, yes, I'm still in that mood. I, I'm even not sure if I will go to campus tomorrow. Now, others may stay well, too. This building will not be back open until next week. All others on campus scheduled to open tomorrow and they expect to have counselors for any students or teachers or staff who would like them. Live at UCLA, Steve Fiorina, 10 News. And here in the Life Center, students at UCLA had to get creative during this lockdown because a lot of their doors would not lock. You can see what some of them had to do here. Pranasha posted this photo. They used the chairs, the desks, cords, basically to make sure that door was secure. Daphne posted this one of her classmates. They've turned the table over to the side, used the cords there from this projector also to make sure nobody could get in. And, and the next photo, kind of an eerie scene. So once everything was cleared, UCLA usually filled with thousands of students empty in the aftermath of the shooting. Here in the Live Center, Mosa Masiha, 10 News.